TMTM The Show presents MK Cast with your host, the Ambassador, and Slay J and Pablo Gunner. Test your might, everybody. We're here to talk about Mortal Kombat and all the variations of Mortal Kombat, right? Right. I mean, we're not going to yeah. talk about every single game because we haven't played every single game. We're, we're here about the nostalgia, right? Like, yes. we played the originals when it came out, so we're going to talk about the original game. We're going to talk about the movies, uh, some, yeah, mainly the movies, some of the shows and stuff like that, and then, of course, the newest game, which we're going to be getting, we're going to be reviewing for everyone here. Yes, definitely. And as you can see, we're we're uh, in our merch here. I know Pablo's the only one with uh, the MK merch, uh, but if you want to say this is kind of Mortal Kombat, the lettering <laughs> looks like it to yeah. me. Yeah, just a little bit. So um, just go to our website. It's tntmtheshow.com. You can browse through our whole library of content and also our store merch. We have. The ambassador here talking about One Piece on our website. We also got him doing the Ahsoka stuff. I talk a little bit about the turtles and a little bit of wrestling, so make sure to check that out. But what have you been watching lately? So I, I watched the original movies, of course. The original one came out, what, in like 95? Yeah, in 1995. And that one's not horrible, but they didn't incorporate like any of the moves or anything like that. That I, yeah, that I really recognize. Like, there wasn't, uh, did they even do the Liu Kang bicycle kick? I think they might yeah. have done that one. They did the bicycle kick. And oh, of course, they, they did the, the scorpion. Fireball. Yeah, the scorpion get over here. They did here, the scorpion. That, and then the sub zero. Uh, yeah. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> they said get over here way too much. And I've been listening to the music for it, and like, that's all it says is get over here and come over here. <laughs> so annoying. Like, I always skip that track because, like, it starts cool, and then it just, once it goes on to that, I'm like, okay, this is annoying. I'm skipping this. But the main soundtrack or the main song hits so good. Even to this day, dude, like, they'll even try to do remixes, still not as good. Like, no, not as it good. is mind blowingly good. Like, it still stands it's the test of time. It yeah, really it does. Timeless. Like, it's a blast. I was listening, I was, that came on and I was just dancing to it. The, even the kids loved it. They're like, yeah, they're all, you know, and then you feel like when you hear the song, you want to do like all the different poses of the characters that are like, Raiden, Liu Kang, you know, Johnny Kid, and you're like, I can't do the splits, you know, like, I'm not doing that one. <laughs> you know, uh, Kung Lao, you do like the hat thing, you know, so it's like, it's so good, dude. And it's cheesy. It's a cheesy movie, but it's, it's not bad. It really isn't too horrible. Like. There's some things that could have been written better because, like, my wife watched it with me. And probably, like, the worst part is, I think, when Liu Kang is fighting Shang Tsung at the end. And he's he's, he starts winning and he runs away. And then he, like, taunts him and he goes up there. And then, like, he just turns around and then changes into his dead brother. And then turns back around and he just acts like that's his real brother. Like, he didn't just see him change. Right in front of his eyes, and he's like completely fools him for a minute, and then he's like, "No way, this can't be!" Like, and then like, it's so dumb because like with slight easy, if you had just been like, he ran up there and then he transformed into the brother and then called from up there, and he's like, "Hey, you didn't yeah, actually kill me," sense, sure. you know? And then he goes up there and he's like, "Oh my god, it's so good to see you!" And then yeah. like he does something where you know he's like, "No, this doesn't feel right," you know? And like then he starts like catching on and stuff, or like he's about to like. Shang Tsung's about to kill him or something once he turns his back. He's like, all right, let's get out of here or something. You know what I mean? Like You can definitely tell that this movie was 90s for sure. Oh, it's yeah. Just, yeah. Like all the weird cheesy graphics in the background. Oh, like gosh. the lightning. And it's it's crazy, but it, you know, it does, you know, it's nostalgia, right? It, and it then really is. When we're growing, well, I, I'm talking for me here. When I grew up and saw that, I was like, this is the coolest <laughs> thing ever. Because I just remember sitting at home on my Super Nintendo Playing those arcade games, man. Just button smashing <laughs> my friends, you know, yelling at them, you know. <laughs> so I, it does definitely take you back to that era. Oh, for that. sure. Oh, my God. It's so good. I love it. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's it's the, it's the nostalgia mainly. Because, like, it's not the greatest movie. Like, even the Johnny Cage fight against Goro, I was like, it would have made more sense if he did the nut punch and then, like, his kick off of the cliff. You know, like, he's just destroying him and, and leads him that way. Yes. But they kind of, like, did the nut punch first, and then he ran away, and then just knocked him off, like, with simple stuff. But, uh, 
Annihilation is just bad. Like, it is horrible. <laughs> yeah. That one... Because the thing is, is I feel like this made the same mistake that Ninja Turtles 2 made, which is like, oh, let's make it more kid-friendly, and let's, like, try to kind of be more true to the source material, but, like, for Ninja Turtles, it was the cartoon, and for them, it was the game. And, like, there was some stuff that was cool, like, Raiden right away automatically does, like, lightning. Even Johnny Cage just does, like, a classic flying kick. But, like, even that's, like, turned down because, uh... What is it? Shao Kahn Shao just Khan, throws yeah. him to the ground and then just snaps his neck. And, yeah. and it's funny because a lot of the characters are different. And it takes place, like, literally, like, like in the same moment right after. Like, right if they would have yeah. been like, oh, this is a few years later, that's why the actors look different. You'd be like, okay, whatever. And you're like, no. Yeah, I don't buy this. And, and yeah, I was just like, I like Johnny Cage from the first movie. You know, but then like this dude, I, I mean, he looked more the part. I feel like he did look like it, but I don't. I didn't get that sense of character. Right, right. Like like personality him. wise, personality. he did. I love like yeah. that's the thing is the actor in the first movie. Like he had the he confidence it. down, and it was like yeah, the cocky. Right, but, like, like dude but thinks he, he knows everything. Mm, you know? But he backed it up with Goro. Oh, he yeah. totally did. Yeah, he took yeah. out Goro. Like I. I don't know if he could take out Shang Tsung, but same thing. I don't know if Luke Kang could take out Goro. Right. But Johnny Cage found a way. Agreed, yes. <laughs> you know what? They also said flawless victory in the first one way too much. Like, a flawless victory is only when, like, you get no, like, yeah, no, no hits no on hits you. Or, yeah. Right? Like, that, it, that is it. But they said it, like, so many times, which there was a few times where there was, like, you know, when Sub-Zero would, like, shoot his blast, turn him to ice, and then they're done, yes. right? And then other times. But they said it, like, almost after every kill, and it's like, that's not how it works, okay? That's not a flawless victory, okay? I really wish they would have brought in some, like, the, the video game aspects of it, of, like, like maybe when you're failing to, like, do the moves, you know, you, like, you, you do the back, back, back to, <laughs> to get something. They, they should have done something like that. Where it's like, oh, it's not working. <laughs> yeah, you're just like flailing Actually there. Actually hit up in this. That the <laughs> and the person's just like... And then they just fall back where you just tap them and then they fall back. Like, oh my gosh, you felt so stupid when you were doing that. And you're like, damn it. Didn't they just fall and die in such a stupid way? Yeah. But you know what was the coolest in the game is like when you uppercutted someone and they either fell down to like spikes or to another area. Or, or you hit them another, up. Or another yes. uh, level, yeah. right? Uh-huh. And, yeah, that, that was, was so the coolest to do in the game. Because I love when you're able to like punch someone into like the acid. Remember there was that green mm, acid yeah. pit and then you see their, their skeleton come up. It was so cool. It's so, so funny it was, how like, the game's just like, there's the blue one and that's ice. There's the <laughs> yellow one and that's fire and there's the green one and that one that like makes sense because of like the whole 16-bit era it's like easier yeah. to render colors than creating a new character right so. yeah and they were all played by the same uh like martial arts actor or whatever yeah. you know like stunt person mm -hmm. it was it's really cool really and then cool in stuff two, they added smoke make a gray one <laughs> <laughs> i love that dude i love that and that even plays to the new one because now they're like all part of the same clan mm -hmm. but they just have like different abilities so that's like I just love like the how they're changing the lore, but like redoing it. Yeah. And but like Modern adding more to it. Yeah, yeah. It's it's really cool. It's I really like it a lot. And just swapping the spots too, because like now Raiden's Raiden took like Luke Kang's spot and Luke Kang took Raiden's spot, but he's now he's the dragon. Because at first I thought he was still lightning because I saw the blue. Yeah. But it's the blue flame. Right. Right. And also I was like, oh, that makes sense. I'm a dummy. But yeah, so it looks really cool. It looks really cool. They even have uh, what's her name? As uh, Natara, Mega, Megan Fox. Megan Fox, yes. Yeah, so she's she's going to be in it. She's voicing it and stuff. And they got uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme, like his voicing and stuff. Like That's the thing is that originally they wanted to make a Jean-Claude Van Damme game, but they couldn't like seal the deal and stuff, so they did this. And that's why Johnny Cage is like a straight ripoff of, John, <laughs> of Jean-Claude Van Damme from Bloodsport. Right. Yeah, and then and they, they wanted to get him in the movie, and he turned them down for Street Fighter. Yes, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, that's the <laughs> you see how well that turned out. Yeah, oh, that's a bummer because yeah. he would have been, of course, obviously perfect. Oh, totally for Johnny Cage. Cause... But but like Street Fighter completely bombed. Mortal Kombat, you can say, was a successful movie. It did warrant a sequel. Is the it, sequel failed? Is so, it? A, do you think it's the better movie though? Do you think? Mortal Kombat's better than the Street Fighter movie? Yeah. Yeah, totally. But uh, do, do you think 
Generation Z knows about Jean Claude Van Damme? Is that a big deal? I think with streaming and stuff, they do, right? Because okay. like it shows yeah. up, and and that's how like they're in touch with a lot of. Because that was our action hero back in stuff. the day. He was the guy, you know. Like he's the. Who's our current one? I don't know. We just have Jason like superheroes. And, and <laughs> Jason Statham. We have superheroes. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible. I guess. Yeah. yeah I. You I'd know. say Tom Cruise would be. A... Maybe The Rock. Or maybe John, maybe or Rock. I think the Rock, Rock is a good comparable. Probably The Rock. Yeah. The The Rock like, definitely. Jack Keanu up. Reeves. Yeah. Keanu Reeves is another yeah. one. Yeah. He's stand the he stood the test of time for sure. But yeah, like those those movies are like so cheesy. Uh, I didn't know actually. I just recently started watching. There's a show. It was called Mortal Kombat Conquest, and that was in 1998. And this was like it's the same. I swear it's the same production company that like did Hercules and Xena because like the sets look the same, the costumes look the same, the era is the same. The, I feel like the plot lines are even the same too. Like it's almost like a live action cartoon where they do have an arc within the within the episode, but then it like resets the next episode, okay. and you're like, I thought he learned this lesson in the previous one, and you're like, I guess not, you know. And the plot, like, but the main like overarching plot, like, does not it barely moves, right? It crawls because there's, I think there's like twenty or twenty two episodes per season. And it's not a bad show. Like, it's like comfort food, right? Like, if you grew up in that era, I was like, this is like comfort food. Also, everyone was like a hot model back then. <laughs> like, everybody. I don't know how this show is PG, because, like, it's fighting, and, like, the chicks are, like, in skimpy little outfits. I mean, the dudes are jacked, and they're pretty much, like, sleeveless, Who, too. Who's the girl that's, like, from the military? Oh, she has Sonya? Sonya. Sonya Blade. Sonya Blade. Blade. Yes. No, she was not in it. Like, no. you had... Okay. Co- it was Kung Lao. Kung Lao. He didn't even have the hat. It was just like they throw in some characters every so <laughs> often just to like justify that it's called Mortal Kombat. Okay. And that's about it. Like, you know, like they did have like Quan Chi and Sub Zero and but like the plot the store the lore is all over the place. Raiden, but like you're like, this does it doesn't like certain things are interesting. Like I love the idea that they said that if you are the Mortal Kombat like winner then you don't age, right? Like, so you just, you stay that same age for forever or as long as you're winning, right? Or as long as you survive. And so, like, Kung Lao, his mission was to recruit other Earthrealm fighters for the Mortal Kombat. But he didn't really, like, he had two, like, but they were just side characters. They, I don't think they were, like, legitimate because they weren't, like, they weren't legitimate characters from the games, right? And I was like, is, is, are we going to find any more? I want them to find more, you know, the, like, Earthrealm people. And it's like, how could you find Johnny Cage? Because like, it's in a movie mm-hmm. realm, and this is like, like I said, it takes like place in, I want to say like the Hercules like era. You know what I mean? That's right. what it seemed like, kind of. So but like New Zealand, kind of. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> That's where they were film Hercules and Xena. Oh okay, but I, I just, yeah, it was just it was just whatever. But like, it wasn't bad, you know. And uh, but there was a, like a lot of choking the ladies, and I was like. Maybe this is why the 90s ladies like choking, <laughs> getting choked so much. Because they're just like... It was subconsciously like, like, built into their brains. <laughs> well, just you see it and then maybe like you go like, oh, that's what I'm supposed to be. I don't know how that works. Because is it still a thing with the younger generation or is it like, don't choke me, you're, you know... I'm not sure, but I know the girls that I've been with, they <laughs> That are younger. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So, so it proves the this theory that I have about the nineties. The nineties. Yeah, the nineties. Uh, yes. When they were more disrespectful to ladies, and now yeah. they were way more respectful. You know. But anyways, yeah. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> our little tangents. Uh, but yeah, it's crazy too. Like just how the games progress too, right? Like they just got better and they added more. Like there's fatalities just got crazier and the graphics got so much better. And they're like they had the the babalities is the one where they turn into babies, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I was like, it's <laughs> not like when the babes or you like just turning one into hot babes, right? right. Like yeah. it was just okay. And then there's the anim- animalities too, yeah. right? Like you turn them into animals mm. and stuff. No, anima- animalities is when. The character turns into an animal. Oh, like That's when right, they, they turn, turn into, into a, a dragon, dragon yeah, yeah, or yeah. whatever, and they kill their they're opponent. Based off of Liu Kang's uh, dragon. dragon. Okay, okay, okay. All right. And cool. then they had friendships, which were more funny. <laughs> those, those were like some of the better ones. I just I love think the oh, funniest one I remember is Liu Kang. 
like a little ball dancing ball comes up and he does some dancing for you. What? <laughs> <laughs> I just it's love so, the banter. It was always so fun looking up in the start menu for everybody's fatality. Oh, right? yeah. And another one. Now you probably just look it up online. I, don't I think most... I don't know, but I thought that you could just, like, pause, and then you can look it up. Okay. And, like, see the moves and stuff. I well, know. in the uh, newer games, you can. Yeah, in the newer ones, you can. No, no, no. In the older ones, if you played the PC version, they had a few cheat codes where you could have, like characters beat you up and show you their fatalities and friendships so that's why i'm so familiar with quite a bit from like mortal kombat 2 because i've seen pretty much all of them oh okay in game except for the one they won't let you do is shang song's third fatality what is that um uh, so uh, you have to charge it a whole round before to uh, do it so you have to hold like low punch down the whole Round before you take them out, and then the next round you gotta hold it again. And then uh, when you get to the fatality part, you take one step back from them and let go. And then he turns Nick and Taro and punches the half their body off. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like yeah, a that top sounds fun. <laughs> secret fatality because uh, all the other characters only have two. So, who's your guys' favorite characters to play when you're playing Mortal Kombat? I don't know, because, like, Liu Kang, to me, is, is, like, the... To me, that's, like, the iconic character. And he's, he was also based off of... He's the balanced character in the game. He was also based off of Bruce Lee. So, like, okay. you know, like, the way he just, His whole design and just yeah, the inspiration and everything. Too. And then, like, he had the fireball and the bicycle kicks. I just... I, I love that character. I mean... The thing is, I follow, I just like playing as everyone just to try everyone out. Uh, I feel like, S I want to say Smoke, or who's, I don't know, I've always liked the ones where like you could just like teleport behind people and then just like boom, 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 and then teleport and boom, 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 oh, boom, yeah, you know, cheap. and just like kind of, yeah. yeah, and just be cheap <laughs> like that. Because I suck, so I don't like do actual combos. I'm like, oh, I just learned like up, down, teleport, punch, I combo. Think, I think Scorpion has you know, a teleporting Yeah, he does thing. a teleport With the kick. fire. Yeah. With a no, kick, okay. He just does a kick. Oh, okay. Yeah. The coolest teleporter was uh, Molina. She'd go in the ground and then kick ya. Awesome. Uh, she, <laughs> she was a fun character to play as. Was that your favorite? Um, Between her and Shang Tsung. Okay. Shang Tsung was just fun because he was like, how many fireballs can I get to launch? Because <laughs> you, you learn the fireball move, but then you can go, I think it's up to three or four fireballs. You can shoot at once, where you're nice. really having to add like the backpack and the forwards to get it going. Mine was uh, definitely Sub Zero. I loved freezing everybody and uppercutting them. <laughs> so, you know, that's another cheap move. I love it when you freeze people in air. Like, oh, that's that the so coolest. Cool. Like, yeah, it doesn't yeah. make sense, but you're like, it's awesome. Wait, where's gravity? Yeah, here, like, what's you know? what's the, the physics in, in this universe? Like, it doesn't make sense. I just thought, like, Shang Tsung potentially is the best because you could just change to anyone anybody, right like yeah. or at least anybody that you've killed now would be cool too like to be like if you're him and you, the people you beat now you can like use their moves so if like you're losing you could switch to them and be like that's what works best against this opponent you know as you progress and stuff like that would be really cool and that's why it makes sense too like shang Tsung being such a great villain is like well if he's beating all these people he has all, everyone's abilities he's gonna be so hard to beat you know right so and um what do you guys uh what do you guys think about Mortal One, Mortal Kombat One? The new one, yes, the one coming, out coming out on September, September 19th. 19th or early. I think that you could get it on the 14th. Yeah, you told yeah. us the 16th, right? Or was or, it the 14th? Uh, either the four. I think it's the 14th or 15th. You can get it on. Oh, cool! If you have the uh, ultimate edition or special edition, whatever they want to call that. Yeah, it was like I think it was like a hundred bucks or like a hundred ten bucks to get it. So I was like. If we're getting multiple copies of this, like, forget yeah. that, you know, like, that's crazy. So, look out for that. We're actually going to be getting that game, and we're going to review it. Yeah, I got it yeah. on the Switch. We both have a Switch. You got it for the new Xbox. The X, yeah, Series X. And you have an Xbox as well, so we're going to try to kind of compete and see who beats it first. Yes. But I suck, so I'm going to probably be, get sick of it real quick and just be like, 
here, Ambassador, I don't want to have anything to do with this anymore. <laughs> I suck. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm partial to the Xbox because there's achievements. <laughs> I'm sure, yeah, yeah. So, the only thing is I don't think you can record your gameplay on the Nintendo Switch, right? You can do a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so yeah, watch out for that. We are, we're actually getting that, and we're going to review that, so stay tuned for that. And then maybe do another giveaway. Who knows? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to get into Mortal I, Kombat. I suck at it. But I'm I, probably going to suck at it, so I probably won't keep it. But I'm most excited for Highlander, right? Or not Highlander. Um, Homelander is going to be on there. Oh, Homelander? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's going to be nuts, dude. And then Peacemaker. <laughs> Peacemaker, I yeah. saw a thing, too, that someone was like, his helmet, where like he just obliterates that lady like the sonic boom or whatever it was they're like this has to be one of his moves because like he just like obliterates like when you see it in the show you're like perfect mortal Kombat like move or fatality you know they've gotten so like crazy now it's it's just nuts and the new movie was really awesome too like that was they changed some stuff up they did but i like the idea that they went with like, anybody could unlock this ability, mm-hmm. like, you know, because everyone has their different abilities. Like, you just have to put in the work and the time and the effort to figure out what your ability is. And that was really cool. And they kind of incorporated that into the commercial for Mortal Kombat 1, the new one that's coming out, right. with Dave Batista. Dave Batista. He, when Mortal he's, Kombat! Yeah, he says it, and then, like, it kind of, <laughs> like, unlocks it in other people. Yeah, and it becomes this big rally. And I also seen that that's actual recreation of the original commercial too but it was like i think it might have been that redheaded kid that like looks when he was a kid and stuff okay and now it's like blown out production and like see how far they've come right especially with like them actually getting jean-claude van damme in their game voiced and everything so it's like almost like full circle you know yeah it's definitely it's gonna be fun can't wait to can't wait to play the new game for sure Maybe John claude Van Damme just doesn't want people to remember his Street Fighter appearance. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, maybe I do this game, they'll just like forget it happened. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's it's awesome. I, I I can't wait to see how badly I get destroyed. So stay tuned to our YouTube. Our YouTube is at TNTM the show. Also check us out on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it. Uh, X gonna give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a actually everything across the board's TNTM the show like and follow us on Facebook and TikTok TikTok let's talk about that cuz that's where we have our shop as well. Yes, we have a shop there. Yeah. And TikTok actually provides coupons for you guys so you guys can get some discounts off our merch. So uh follow us on TikTok. We do do content on there. Uh Pablo has a series for Ahsoka. Um, I know I mentioned a lot of this at the beginning, but definitely check that out because Ahsoka has been so good and his videos are great. So Yeah, uh, I mean, everything helps, right? Every comment, every like, every share, every sub, like everything helps us. The, and, and it shows, like the pe- people are, are digging our stuff and, and that's really awesome. So it's really, it feels really good to see that, you know, and in the merch too, right? Like, oh my gosh, people have been ordering merch, you know, slowly getting people to... I, I've, I've talked people into it at work and stuff and family members slowly but surely. I love this shirt, the Finish They Them shirt that, that <laughs> I asked you to make me. And so, because, you know, I just want to be, like, all-inclusive of everyone because, of course, they have Finish Him, Finish Her and stuff. And this is super comfortable. I will, I, I'm not going to lie. The arms are kind of tight. Like, this is a medium. It seems more like a small. Uh, so, like, I have to take off my workout gloves because I'm a wuss like that. And my headphones, because, like, they will legitimately... And if I'm wearing a shirt off, like, then I'm just completely shirtless. Uh, But, like, if you get the next size up, I'm sure you're good. But I actually love this fit. Like, it feels good. Uh, I love wearing it shirtless because it just... It's so comfy on the inside and so nice. And I like being shirtless most of the time. Uh, So it falls falls around the corner. So, yeah, check out these hoodies. Oh, it's perfect. And Mm -hmm. then I've made some onesies, too, just because... My kids have inspired me. One that says, uh, kicking like Liu Kang. Uh, another one that says, throwing hands like Jax. Because I got both of those. Like, my my oldest was the kicker. And then my, my uh, now my youngest, she's the, she's the puncher. And uh, 
And and then given the eye like Kano and stuff, and I tried to make like the lettering look similar to those characters <laughs> too. So, uh, but yeah, yeah. that's great. Yeah, everything. Test your might. I made yeah. a test your might tank because I want to get that. And there's shorts too that are like this same. So I'm gonna get the shorts. I'm gonna get some M. I made some MK socks. So I'm gonna get the whole fit. So I can rock that in the gym. And I get looks in the gym. And there's only like four dudes in our gym, you know, because it's just like the guys from work. Uh, but still, like, they're like, and then they make comments and stuff about it. So, like, I'm sure if we, we went to, like, a legit gym, dude, like, it would just blow. Actually, I did go to Define the other day in my Ninja Turtle when it was Ninja Turtles month. And the girl was like, oh, Nin- talk nerdy to me. That's cool, you know. And <laughs> Nice. And I was like, yeah, check it out, you know. <laughs> Here's in a half shell, whatever, you know. <laughs> pizza time <laughs> but yeah uh so i think uh we killed it flawless victory maybe <laughs> no we're just, Hello. Gonna, we're just gonna stand <laughs> toasty toasty <yes. laughs> or, or the other one was like whoopsie whoopsie <laughs> so and and what's his name uh boone did most of the voicing for that stuff oh, yeah yeah it's pretty crazy noob cybot yeah noob cybot so yeah awesome anyways <laughs> yeah. talk nerdy to me